All right, today we are going to be working on what year? 2011. 2011 Toyota Tundra. We're going to be doing the uh, front and rear brakes on this thing. This is uh, my brother-in-law Sean's truck. He's coming over here so we can try to knock this out. We got Gina's help. She's our little gopher. <laughs> and uh, we're going to get this up in the air and get the wheels taken off and see where we're going to go from there because I've never done this. He's never done this. Gina's never done this. No, Gina, you've done like six or seven of these, huh? Sure. Sure. <laughs> yeah. So she's going to be helping us to know exactly what we're doing. But she says she's not going to lift a finger because she wants us to learn. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's get to this. To this. Uh, it's not a build. It's a fixer upper. All right, so this looks like it's going to be a standard job. I haven't figured out exactly what size these are, but anyway, we got the uh, we got the caliper. We've got the rotor. This rotor is basically just a slide-on rotor. There's nothing holding this on except for the brakes and the wheel and the bolts when it's on there. So on the back side of this, you're going to have a bolt here at the top, and then there's another bolt down here at the bottom. I gotta figure out what size those are, but you're gonna pop those two out and this is gonna pop out. One thing you gotta pay attention to though, is this is a hard line. So if you pop those out, this is gonna bend. So what we're gonna do is there's a little clip, it's a slide clip, right on the back side of this, and we're gonna take a screwdriver and we're gonna pop this out. What that's gonna do is that's gonna allow this piece to move in and out. So we're gonna use a little bit of this extra line and shove it through there so that we can make this be able to move out and away. And that's another thing is we're going to have to find a couple bricks or a bucket or something to set right here so we can set this on top of while we move the uh, rotor out and put the new one in. These ones actually aren't bad, but he got the kit for, uh, for what was, I think it was 150 bucks online. So he just went ahead and bought the whole thing. But what he's going to do is he's going to take these rotors down eventually and get them turned. You can get them turned for about 15 bucks, 10 or 15 bucks a piece. And they'll be almost brand new again for the next time he wants to swap them out. All he'll have to do is go down and buy the pads. And then he'll already have these ones to swap them out next time. While you're in here, go ahead and check your CV boots to make sure that there's no cracks or holes in them. Because that can really mess up your, uh, your, your driving. Look at your, uh, your drag link on your uh, steering and just... Give it overall look. If something looks weird or bad or something, then it's something else you need to kind of think about uh, for the next time you need to you want to do a project. So, all right, we're gonna go ahead and get these bolts pulled off and see where we are after that. All right, everything's trial and error. Like I said, this is our first time. But remember, I said pull that clip out. I hope you didn't pull that clip out. I hope you're watching this whole video first because <laughs> right up above it, there's a bolt in the side of this and you pull that bolt out and it loosens up the whole bracket and everything so now we're going to pull those out and then that just slides right off like that careful not to bend your uh, hose there and uh see if you can bring it around up to here on this so that we can try to change no no there's not enough slack okay well what 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 we got to do is we got to uh get the pads and everything out of here so hang on let's let's take a qu quick look at it before we move along all right we got something up there now that spring right there he's holding it's got let's see that little tiny hook on it right here in the middle that little hook right there in the middle it it's right in the center like that and then it sticks into each pin on, at either end so you're going to pull each of those out and then pop that out of there which it might fly on you like it did us and then that'll just come out. There should be a new one with the kit, but hang on to everything because sometimes kits end up not having everything you need. And then there's a top pin and a bottom pin that you're gonna slide out. There's a lot of buildup on them, so they, they may not slide out very easily. Remember how all this is coming apart because you're going to have to put all this back together. Well, that spring's good and then that this. spring just clips into there. That well, All that spring does is it holds tension on those pads. And then those are going to come out the front. And then because you've got two pistons in there, you'll have two pistons to squeeze in order to be able to get all this together with the new rotors on it. 
So we're going to get to that here in just a second. All right, we're pulling the, the old pads are right here. <laughs> it was about time. Look, there's no pad left at all. Look at the new ones. See how much pad there is compared to this? So yes, absolutely, he caught this just in time before it went completely metal to metal. But we're looking at this. This has a plastic uh, vibration in between the metal and the pad itself. So the metal is what you're going to end up keeping because the new ones, all they have is the, the plastic uh, that's basically to create, to reduce the amount of chatter. Uh, sometimes they'll vibrate enough going down the road that it'll make a high-pitched sound. And that's what this is to reduce. That's what that plastic is there for. That's what the original ones look like. So we got to keep those and put those back in place before we put everything back in. And we got to squeeze the uh, pistons back. All right. So what we did was we took a C-clamp, put a piece of metal there, and then we pinched this in. But this one actually has four pistons uh, all, all together. And you have to hold one side and then pinch the other side in to get these to spread out so you can put the new pads in there. So we may end up having to squeeze those a little bit more. We'll have to see where we are once we get the new pads in. We did squeeze it quite a bit. One thing I want to stress to you guys is when you put the new rotors on, do not nick any part of the pad surface. Otherwise, you will feel it in your brakes every time you hit the brakes. You get one little nick, and when you hit the brakes, when it comes around to the pad, you're going to feel it. And it'll get very irritating. The old one, was, we both pulled on this, and then he hit it on one side with his hand, and it just kind of popped off. So sometimes this ring will build up, and it'll be hard to pop it off. So all you do is just take a little hammer and just gently tap the old one, and then spin it and tap it until you can get it to pop off. So now we're going to slide the new one on. All right. So now we got the new one on. Uh, he went ahead and replaced the springs the way they came out, put the springs and the keeper in there for the pins. And uh, what we finally ended up doing was uh, we took the bleeder and opened up the bleeder and then uh, squeezed it until they were all the way in there. What, what we'll have to do is we'll end up having to put in more fluid up here in the uh, fluid reservoir before we start it up. And then because uh, as we pump the brake, it'll actually expand in there and pull fluid from the top but uh who's over here on the other side doing the other side we're not going to show everything doing on this one uh so he's going to knock this out and then uh, we'll turn the truck around and get the rear brakes done all right now we're on the rear brakes which are basically like the front brakes just kind of smaller except for the uh i can't even remember what that's called i know i called it up there this, the rotor, rotor, Caliper? yeah, the rotor. <laughs> I've been watching him work all day, so I've barely lifted a hand. Anyway, the same thing on the back side of this. There's two bolts. There's one at the top, one at the bottom down there, and uh, we don't. There's eleven sixteenths. Eleven sixteenths. And the back ones, for some reason, are torqued beyond life. So you're gonna need a good breaker bar. This one's what, two, no, a foot and a half. I don't know, a foot and a half, but he's putting some weight into it to get these to break. So he's breaking those, and then that way the whole caliber pops off. And same thing. Pay attention to all the parts that are inside there, and uh, we'll show you here in just a minute when we get this apart. All right, you want to explain that again? Okay, I'm going to pop this brake pad out, and then I'm going to run my C clamp through here and compress the cylinder down so we can okay. get the new so the pieces that are in there that were holding that brake pad do those come out they can but they stay okay you they didn't come with my kit okay but so what he's saying is be careful because if they do pop out you're gonna have to put them back in there to get the pad back in they have to go in first so don't let them pop out and then we've got a c-clamp because we don't we didn't want to spend the money on the tool for doing this but the tool would definitely make it easier. But what he's doing is he's using the old pad to just compress it. Applying pressure. So we're not worried about breaking that old pad. 
plus it goes down the guides and it just lines up so you have yeah equal pressure on your the piston in there whatever it is yeah whatever the technical name is we don't know We already did the other side. That way we could sound professional on this side. Well, actually, he already did the other side. <laughs> I didn't do a damn thing on this. He said, can I use your tools? I said, yeah. Do I have to help? He goes, if you want to. I don't want to. It's like Prego. It's in there. All right. So now that's done. And then you can pop the other one out. Show us that piece that's on that. That clip. We don't really know what this clip is for. We don't know if it's a chirper or what the hell it is. A sensor, something or another. Because all it does is it just clips on there. There's nothing on the back, no sensor that clips on yeah, it. Yeah, there's nothing. And it's on the back side of the path, so it don't even rub nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, I bet, you know what? I wonder if it had it, a piece that was on it. It was the chirper, but it's gone. It's, <laughs> but when, when, you, when you run your bait pads down to beyond. Wait, where's where's a new one? <laughs> there's a new one. <laughs> From hold, hold the other one up next to it. Yeah. All that's left is the metal. Yeah. So that's they yeah. Don't, they don't suggest that. No, 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 no. So now that the chirper's gone, we're not gonna put it back in there. So, I mean, it wasn't. We just wait for the metal to start squealing anyway, right? Yeah. Put these. Oh yeah, there is metal on the back sides of these. And this has got a little anti-sound on it as well, just like the other one did on the front. Here, I'll snap that on because I'll go. Huh? What do you want me to do with one hand? I thought you'd go like that and then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's two hands. Your hand and my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Did it go on? Yeah. yeah. Get the pine needles out of your brake system. You got pine needles in there for real? All right. Now we do have music, but we can't play it for you guys. So we're in silence right now, just for the benefit of you guys watching this video. Now what he's doing is he punches it in one side and then he's got to squeeze it in the other side. It's almost like putting a battery into a toy. Because you got a spring on one side, you got to kind of push it in one direction and get it to pop in there. The hard part is, is this outside piece, it slides out. So when you're trying to get it all back together, it's, yeah, it's it'll, fight just, it'll fight you back and forth trying to get that in there. Same thing with the other, with the outer. You got to work it back and forth to get it to squeeze in there just right. And if you don't do it right, you're going to pop those, those clips out. That's why I said pay attention to where those clips are. That way, if it pops out, you'll know how they go back in there. And this 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 was the biggest fight on the other side as well, besides the uh, freaking 500 foot-pound torque bolts. <laughs> okay. Good going. All right. Well, he's gonna fight to get this in there, and then uh, after that. Uh, again, we're going to show you how to do that. Hang on. All right. So beat on it and beat on it and beat on it. Because that's going to be kind of rusted on. Now, if you're going to reuse your rotors, be careful beating on the back side of this. Not to hit the surface area. You're going to hit just the corner edge of that on the back side. And you're just going to turn it and tap it. Turn it and tap it, and that'll slowly work it off. I'm just saying, you gotta be patient. It, 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 
it's moving. It was moving, it was moving, it was moving. There you go. Turn it a little bit, you'll get it this time. There you go. <laughs> you guys didn't get to see it, but he gave me a go to hell look like this son bitch ain't coming off. <laughs> And then there's a, a rubber grommet in the outside edge. Remember I said this was a, a, I thought on some of them it's a bolt. This is actually just an access, little rubber access for the uh, emergency brake adjustment, which used to be drum brakes, but now they're just for the, the emergency, the emergency brakes. And uh, you put that on the new one right here. On this outside edge, you just pop that in there. So make sure you transfer that over, and that's on both sides. That's where my pet spider lives. Ah. Cut tundra spider. Oh, okay. <laughs> a tundra spider. That's a that's a that's a bad badass spider. I mean, he's resisting the heat and everything in there. Ooh, that's pretty. Here's your rubber. For safe breaking. Safe breaking. Just shove that in there. See? And then if and you now, get this all right. Yeah, if you've got that spread apart enough, then you can stick it in. Stick it in, stick it in, slide it, and bolt it. And then you put those bolts back on. Now, let's be clear on these bolts now that we're at the end of the video. We get in here. Hang on. Okay, look. There's two different sets of bolts. One set of bolts is for the caliper slide, the float. Point, point, point at that one there. That's that's that one there. The other one is back here, on a little bit closer on the inside. Those are the ones that you're gonna want to loosen to pull that caliper all the way off. You can ruin your caliper slide. Uh, if you were to take those other bolts out. So there you go. I mean, that's pretty much it. All cut and dry. Uh, he's going to get those on there, torque those bolts back down. We're not sure what the specs are on that. You might want to ask or look it up online. All we know is that it's as tight as... 300 pound man can get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no crap. I mean, we, were, we both yanked on that, almost did a pull up on this. So... Uh, we're going to go, well, he's going to go ahead and get this buttoned up and put the wheels back on there. Take it out and see if you don't hit a house. But uh, that's it. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. There's going to be more automotive stuff. Of course, the mini truck is still over here waiting. We've got the transmission out from underneath it. I've got it pretty much leveled off. And uh, I need to get under there uh, probably next weekend now. I didn't know this brake job was going to come up. And, you know, family comes first. So we're helping him with a spot to be able to change his brakes and the tools to be able to do that. Uh, so, like I said, thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Go change your brakes. I know a lot of you guys are probably at this point right now. <laughs>